Good morning. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit today about uh, some an issue that is sensitive that that you probably won't talk to anybody else about. Uh, depression, uh, suicidal thoughts. You know these things are real, and uh, you know some of the the toughest battles that we that I myself ever face is without even saying a word. You know. My hardest battles are mind battles, mind struggles, the thoughts, you know, the things that keep you up at night, the things that, that you think about during the day, um, you know, it, it is hard sometimes, you know, you war against yourself, but I want you to know that God loves you, and I want you to to know that, that you're not alone. If you feel like you were in a depressed state or um, you're, you're thinking about suicide or something like that, I want you to seek professional help. Your life is precious. Your life matters. But the Lord laid something on my heart the other day that, that you know, the sun outside, I, I relate that to the Son of God. You know, the Bible says that he is the light of the world. What happens when we put a hat on? We shade that light. We shade uh, the effects of the sun on our face. You know, and then then we put glasses on and that puts a barrier between, between our eyes and, and everything else. It darkens everything. And then I think of, of a welding shield. You know, you put a welding shield on and it's black. It's black until you create a spark or something, and, and, and then that's all you see. But it, it just covers everything. It puts a, it puts a barrier of, over everything. You're hiding your whole face from the effects of the sun, from the effects of the light. And this is, this is what Satan does. This is what the Lord spoke into my spirit. This is what he does. You know, we make mistakes. We're human. You make mistakes, and and it's 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 like putting a hat on. You you want to hide. You you separate yourself. You're separating yourself from that that the effects of the sun. You're separating yourself from from God because you messed up. You want to hide. You put the hat on, and then then he starts working. Oh man, you messed up now. You know you're worthless. You ain't nothing. And, and so then that brings you down to another level of, of let me put the sunglasses on. Let, I, I, I need to hide myself. I want to I wanna just mud everything out. I, wanna, I don't want everything to be so bright. I don't want people to see me for what, what I really am, of the mistakes that I've made. You know, maybe, maybe you're in this because not because of something that you did, but, but maybe you're you're fighting this because of something that someone's done to you. Something that, that they have done to you and hurt you. And the pain is real and, and you're mad about it. And you want revenge. And it's like putting glasses on. You, you just, you want to hide out the brightness of God. And, and it's not necessarily you want to, but, but that's like the next step that Satan wants to do because he wants to separate you from the effects of Christ. What is the effects of Christ? Love, forgiveness. This is what God is. This is the very essence of God is, is grace and mercy. And that is the opposite of the flesh. That's not what we are. We want revenge. We want to pay back. But, but, it, nevertheless, it puts you in a in in a a darkened state, and this is where this is where the mind battles really start. Also, you know, you start thinking about what's been done to you or what you've done, and and it just eats at you. And then you start weighing back and forth, back and forth. Well, then the next step is when, when you put that face shield on and, and it's like total darkness. You just, everything comes in on you and, and you're just battling against yourself. You say, well, this, it'd be better off if I wasn't even here. 
you know, I can end this, this battle. I can end this war that I'm raging in my mind right now. All I have to do is end my life and it's, it's done. I don't have to fight this no more. I don't have to worry no more. I can, I can take care of this. That is not the way out. Your life is precious. I don't know what state you're in. Maybe you got a hat on today and you you know you've messed up. Can I tell you if if you're wearing a hat or you're wearing the glasses or you're just totally consumed with the darkness? There is nothing that's been done to you. There is nothing that you have done that can separate you from God's love. There is no sin that is too deep. There is no uh, unrighteousness, there is no filth, there is no place where God says, I don't love you. Now you may feel like there's no way out. You may feel like there's no answer. Don't give up. Why are you battling so hard? Why are you fighting so hard? Why, why, why am I going through this? Why would Satan fight you so hard? Because you have such potential. You are such a threat to him that if I can get them down, what, what does Satan want? He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to destroy your life. He wants to take you out of the equation. I want you to know that you are a threat. And that's why you are fighting so hard. That's why you are battling so hard. That God has a greater purpose. He has, He sees the potential that you have. He sees where you can go. He sees what you can do and the lives that you can change. And that's why you're fighting so hard. I just want you to be aware of, of Satan and his schemings. Hey, I'm, you're, not, you're not battling alone. There's people that battle the same thing day in and day out. There's all different calipers of people that fight the same battles. It doesn't matter your popularity status. It doesn't matter uh, how much money you make. Guess what? The battles are real. The war rages. And you are not alone. There is no place that you can hide that God can't reach you. There's no place that, that God can't, can't reach down and help you. There's no place where he can't take those glasses off, take that hat off, take that shield off and say, I love you. I want to give you my grace and my mercy. I don't want you to feel like this. There was there is a, a story in the Bible in Exodus chapter 34 and it's when Moses came down from the mount he had been talking with God. He came down in, into the Israelites and what did they see? They saw the effects of of God on him. It says his face was glowing. It shone with the presence of God because he had been in the presence of the Almighty God. And his face was glowing with that. And they were afraid. They made him put a veil over his face. Because they, they didn't want to be around him. You see that's what Satan wants to separate. He wants to separate you from God. He wants to separate you from, from that, that presence. And we have to be aware of that. We have to be aware to know what Satan wants from us. He wants to take our life. But I want to encourage you today that you are a threat to Satan. That's why he's fighting so hard. That you have great potential. God, God's the only one that can see the future and see what you are capable of. And it is mighty things. Don't give up. This battle that you are warring in your mind, don't give up. Don't give in. God loves you. And if you are thinking 
suicidal thoughts, if, if you're struggling with this, and get help. You are worth help. Your life matters. Don't give up. Don't give in. Jesus is the light of the world. And that light can live in you. Can be shown from you. What what ah, What does this word say? Per, it, the light cast out darkness. If you want to get rid of darkness, you need to shine the light on it. If you want to get rid of the darkness, you have to turn a light on. And when you're battling, the hardest thing to do is pray. When, you, when you're in a fight, the hardest thing to do sometimes is say, Father, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know. I don't know what to pray. But I'm just going to call out your name, Jesus. And you know, at the name of, of Jesus, demons flee. There's something just about that name that possesses power. Just call on him. Just call on him. I truly believe that I'm talking to somebody that is f fighting hard. You're fighting off suicide. You're fighting off depression. You're fighting off these mind battles. And you are at your wit's end. Don't give in. Don't give up. God loves you. He's here. I'm going to pray a prayer. And I just want you to pray with me. Dear Father, Jesus, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to say, Father. But here I am. You know where I am. Help me out of this darkness. Help me uh, through this battle that I'm facing, Father. Help me to re be removed from the depression, from the suicidal thoughts. Father, if there's something in me, forgive me of my sins. But Lord, help me through this. Help me out of this. Show your light on my life. I need your help. I need your help. And I thank you for it, Father. I thank you for it. Jesus, I ask you, Father, to touch these that are listening right now, that are fighting, that are battling. I ask that you uplift them, that you encourage them, that you wrap your arms around them and love them. Lord, their life is precious. Their potential is great. Lord, protect them. Protect them, Father. Give them mercy and grace. Lord, as... as as you cast our sin, our unrighteousness, as far as the east is from the west, Father. Lord, I ask that you touch their minds. I ask you to, to, to minister to them, Father. And give them grace and give them that light that comes from you. Let them feel your presence. And I give you thanks, Father, for everything. But I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you today. If, if, if you're battling... Seek help. If, if you're thinking suicide or you've been depressed for a, a while, seek help. Because your potential is great. Your potential over your household, your friends, your family. He, he is warned against you because you're a threat. Don't give in. God loves you. I love you. God bless you.